Hi guys, hi everybody. Um, it's long overdue my vlog on about what I'm doing. Um, I'm starting again. I know I did a vlog a couple of months ago before a lot of things have happened in my life and changed it crazily. Um, but this vlog, I wanted to tell you all about my bloat situation, about what I'm doing right now, what treatment I'm on, what's happening. Um, since I haven't updated you all in so long. And um, so I'll start at one thing at a time. So first, first of all, I am doing a carnivore diet. I know I said I was going to plan to do it before, but it just never happened. I wasn't ready. This happened, that happened. And officially I'm on day 11 now on my carnivore diet. And honestly, I've done a lot of diets in my life. I've done loads of food plans. You know, I've done juicing. I've done everything to heal my gut in so long. Um, and this is, you know, a healing diet. It's not for everybody. If you've never heard about carnivore diet, do go some research. Um, for those of you who know, I'm doing a strict carnivore where I'm eating basically just meat, organs, and water. Um, obviously salt, sometimes a bit of spice. <laughs> I am a chef at the end of the day. Um, and honestly, I didn't expect to feel the way I feel now. Um, I've been doing it for 11 days now. It's the, by far the easiest, most comfortable, I would say, diet plan I've ever been on. First of all, I have no cravings. Now, I'm eating uh, only twice a day as well. I was planning to eat four times a day, but I realized that there's no way I can fit so much food in. So then I was gonna eat three times a day with my current plan. And then basically I'm eating twice a day and it's perfect. I eat usually at 12 or one, and then at five or 6 p.m. And then I fast for 18 hours. So 18 hours I fast every day, 16 to 18, depends. And honestly, it sounds so much easier. Well, it is so much easier than it might sound. Um, of course, if you've never done fasting before, if you've never um, been on any diets, it might be a lot for you. For me, it's it's not. And the, the biggest thing that I've noticed is that I'm never hungry. I'm generally never hungry, apart from the times when I'm supposed to eat, because then, you know, I think my body knows and I'm getting, like, hungry. Uh, but I'm not hungry. I'm satisfied. I don't have any cravings for any food, like junk food, sugar. Um, I don't have any cravings. And for me, this is first time in my life. I've always had cravings. I'm always like, mm, I'm on diet, but I can try this and I can try that. And the only reason why I'm on a diet is to heal my gut. And I'm taking very serious uh, tablets and medications that are paid for, vitamins and all sorts. So I don't want to mess that up. And the only reason why I need to stay on this diet for at least six months uh, because I'm going to be reintroducing food back in and seeing how my body reacts. Because at the moment, currently as it stands, I am reacting to something and that's why I have the bloat. Um, I've done more blood tests and 10-day fasting uh, retreats, which I will post about um, in the next video, actually, that reminds me. Um, I, I've got some amazing results there and I did a lot of tests there and they've discovered now that I have leaky gut, I have dysbiosis, which I've heard now from several people. Um, I've done my... Um, uh, poop test, <laughs> uh, microbiome testing twice. Um, they found two types of parasites in there, which I did mention as well. And um, so for the first three months, I'm doing the carnivore diet and I'm only eating meat. And then I will introduce the fish and seafood in two months, see how I react. And then after four months, I can introduce eggs and other types of fish because I'm actually apparently allergic. Once I've done this food intolerance test, I was actually allergic to eggs, salmon, tuna, and sea and prawns. And I've had that food every single day, pretty much. Like I have eggs every day or every other day. So that was kind of a shock to me. So I'm really, really curious to see what's gonna happen in a couple of months. Uh, what's gonna happen, you know, obviously in six months time. After the three months protocol, I'm then going on the anti-parasite cleanse, which I will show you in the videos once I started. Um, and currently I'm taking a lot of supplements because I'm actually very deficient also because of the stress because the lifestyle um, I'm probably even worse now because of everything that's happened I've been under immense amount of stress and pressure and um, my hair started falling out a lot like literally really badly so if anyone has advice about that let me know however you know this happened before with me you know when I lost my mom I lost a lot of hair um, afterwards and the same thing is obviously happening right now like I lost my dad and uh, you know it's only been two and a half months and now I'm losing a lot of my hair I think because um, it's my way of stress and that's how my body obviously showed me that it's extremely under a lot of stress even though I'm doing as much as I can to de-stress and calm down 
Um, so I'm taking a lot of supplements. Um, I will show you in a minute, like which supplements I'm taking. I actually bought a lot of stuff. There is a lot. So I don't want to recommend anything to you because you need to go and see your nutritionist, your doctor, and they need to, pro you know, write to you what exactly you can and cannot have. I'll show you the um, stuff that I'm taking. So I'm taking probiotics at night and in the morning, different kinds. One is the liquid one, which I drink first thing in the morning, and it's got over 33 strains of live probiotic bacteria. And then one at night, which is in a powdered form, which is only like 13, um, you know, 13 uh, varieties of that. And then I'm taking multivitamins and a mucosa tablet, which is supposed to heal the gut wall in your stomach. So I'm kind of doing two in one treatments with a diet, with a with a you know treatment of the vitamins and tablets that I have. And so yeah, I mean so far I feel good. It's been 11 days. Um, I had dips in the energy for a few days, then it went back up. Today I feel fine. So I think my body's adjusting. And the key thing is, of course, to eat a lot more fat. So I'm eating a lot of fat, a lot of, uh, you know, meat with fat. Because if you don't eat enough fat, you're going to be hungry. Um, and yeah, my bloat is still there. <laughs> I, I could show you now, but it's, it's hard to show. But um, you see the stomach is still currently bloated and it's always bloated like this. If I relax, it's even more bloated. Um, oh. <laughs> you're popping in my video. Um, and every morning, like when I wake up, I already have a bloat. Um, and like, you know, guys, I've had this bloat for about nearly two years in March now, and I've tried absolutely everything. So I have actually really high hopes for carnivore. Um, I definitely noticed a lot of inflammation go away. So I've had less inflammation in my body. And I'm kind of like feeling like I'm reducing, even though I'm not measuring myself, I'm not weighting myself. Uh, but I definitely feel like inflammation is going away. Um, I can feel it, you know, like things like my fingers, like um, the ring is a bit looser and just things like that. So I'm very curious to see what's going to happen. I'm, at first, I'm just doing a 30 day challenge because mentally it was really hard for me to do the carnivore because I was like, how on earth am I just going to eat that? But, you know, I'm eating different types of meat. So I'm eating lamb, beef and chicken and all sorts of organs. By organs, I mean liver, kidneys, heart um, and uh, beef tongue. Um, they have insane amount of nutrition in there, so they're very, very nutrient dense, and um, you know you get all the vitamins there as well, which is amazing. Um, and I basically cook fresh meals every day. I use my instant pot; <laughs> it's just really fast and easy. And um, I can't eat the same thing twice because unfortunately, it just feels like I just can't do it. So I eat, you know, and you can eat as much as you can. Like you can eat as much as you want. There's no counting calories. There's nothing. You just eat until you're fully satisfied and full, but not overly like full. Um, so I'll, I will show you my results. I've taken some photos before I started and I'll show you obviously at the end. At first, I'm just taking it step by step. I've given myself one week to try it, but now it's 11th day. I decided that I'm going to do the full 30 days because I feel confident enough that it's, you know, it's fine. I'm just going to show you the tablets that I take. I don't know if I can flip the camera. So this is, this was given to me in a specific clinic in, um, in Estonia actually. So it's, uh, it's in Estonian, so it doesn't even have English here. This is at night. It's like a little spoon and a powder that I take and I put it in my cup here. I'm going to show you what I have. <laughs> oh, I didn't even do my apartment tour yet. Hey, this is my sister. Yo, she's living with me right now. So I'll show you, first of all, let me show you the cabinet. It's pretty scary. Ta -da, look at all this stuff. Um, I can obviously go through all of them, but I actually had to take a lot of the supplements out. Like for example, like this one, uh, skin and hair. I took out folic acid, vitamin B, selenium, and vitamin B complex because I was taking all of them and they started to give me a rash. Um, I think it's just overdose on vitamins. And yes, there is such a thing as overdose on vitamins. So I'm just going to show you what I'm taking now. So I'm taking digestive enzymes for my gut um, after every meal. And this is the same brand that I drink at night and morning. And this is called Promucosa. And it's got, it's got a lot of stuff in here, you can see. Um, again, it already has all the vitamins too, and just helps you to break down and build those walls. 
I'm taking this one for my gallbladder. It's a really horrible thing that you put under your tongue. Um, it's like this liquid. It's gross. And then these as well. Uh, these are to relax muscles around your stomach so you're not like in pain. And in terms of supplements, this is another thing I'm taking to build my gut wall. It's called taurine. If anyone knows, you take it 30 minutes before. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm taking all these supplements, vitamin K, vitamin D, but you've noticed this is a huge dosage of vitamin D uh, because I was really lacking, I was so low. I'm taking wild fish Alaskan salmon capsules. And then uh, for ladies, these are the best things to take, uh, maca root powder and also ashwarangha. Um, these really, really help you balance like your hormones, your mood, you know, your, you, you, know you don't go too crazy or you know hormone hormones go up and down and lastly i take magnesium at night so i've been taking all of these um for the last 11 days and i am seeing the difference i mean i'm definitely you know feeling a bit better um and i don't know it's, it's still too early to say the only thing is that i did have way too much vitamin b and that did overdose me and another thing i actually forgot to mention this was one of you guys uh, Yvonne, one of my subscribers, she emailed me and said that for my gut as well to help me, I should have glutamine powder. So I'm having this glutamine powder like this. This is the brand that she recommended. She tried a bunch of them. And a glutamine powder together with vitamin C. Um, and this is vitamin C2000, which is very strong. So I take a scoop of each and I drink it in the morning on empty stomach. And so far, honestly, it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's been good. I think I even had like a small cold and it just went away in like a few days after I started taking the vitamin C because, you know, it helps your immune system. And I'm going to show you my freezer. Ta -da. I've got a lot of meat. Everything's frozen and I just defrost stuff, you know, that I'm going to have. I'm having a lot of broth as well. So I'm having broth pretty much every day or every other day. Um, I do have a broth recipe on my channel. You can make it. It's very, very easy if you have this in the pot. And last, I just want to show you, this is the stuff that I take in the morning. So you see this little cap and it's got over 30 bacteria. It tastes a bit like kvass, <laughs> the Russian bread drink. It's like very, um, you know, bubbly and a bit quite intense flavor. But to be honest, fasting in the morning, it's, it's quite nice. Um, so that's my program right now. And then um, after I do this and basically all the vitamins, so you're supposed to do a course of about two months. So I'm going to do that two months. And then after that, I'm going to start my antiparasite cleanse, which I think I have also in here. But uh, let me just check. I don't have them out at the moment, the, the, the tablets. So once I do start it, I will do obviously another vlog and show you. So that's kind of my protocol right now. I am very excited. I think, I feel like this time is gonna work. I feel like this is it. Like I'm healing. I'm also doing a special hypnotherapy for my gut, which I listen to every day. It's a paid app. If anyone's interested, leave a comment. I'll let you know which app it is because I can't remember it from the top of my head. Um, it's, it has a course over six weeks where you just do meditation every day like hypnosis for like 20 minutes and like rewires your brain and um you know makes you apparently it's very effective like 80 percent of people who have ibs any gut issues or anything the symptoms go away all right guys well we're off to the gym are you ready <laughs> uh we're gonna go to the gym and uh let me know if any of you have any more questions about my protocol and i'll happily reply see you soon bye